This section focuses on the session-based security framework of Jakarta EE that uses annotations rather than the declarative way with the web.xml. Let us now start this tutorial by implementing the basic authentication mechanism using the said framework. Jakarta EE Security API has some built-in annotations to set up and create basic authentication without dealing much on the container. It has a CDI bin HTTP authentication mechanism that can interact with the user to retrieve user credentials and can perform authentication with the container's JASPIC server auth module. Also, it has identity store to manage user credentials and roles. Let us now create a new Maven project with a CDI bin descriptor file in it. Since the needed security APIs are all injectable bins, and most importantly, we need to register into our pom.xml the following Jakarta EE security dependency. We will apply the security framework to our previous login application in section 1. And we start with decorating all the secured resources with the basic authentication mechanism definition annotation, which will allow us to register a real name for the whole application. And we declare all the roles that are authorized to access this resource and impose the security protocol using the servlet security annotation with all the authorization constraints. Even though a guest role is included in the declared roles, it is only administrator or a user role that can access this particular servlet. In Eclipse Soteria, we need two things. First, an identity store to manage and store all the user credentials and their corresponding roles. In this recipe, we will be utilizing the simplest and easy to configure type, which is the embedded identity store. We use the embedded identity store definition annotation to register all these built-in user credentials and roles. By the way, in Eclipse Soteria, caller is technically referred to as client or user, while groups can be associated to roles. We decorate this annotation to all secured resources of the application. And second, in Eclipse Soteria, is to implement an HTTP authentication mechanism that has a validate request that will face the client, retrieves all the credentials of the client, and performs authentication depending on the authentication and authorization rules imposed to the application. And this class must be an application scope bin and must be decorated with an auto apply session to register all user authentication to the web session. And there must only be one HTTP authentication mechanism per application. But if we want to secure another servlet, we perform the first steps up to the setup of the identity store. For the user to log in, we need to create a login servlet with a login page that will contain all the user credentials to be retrieved by our HTTP authentication mechanism bin and will call a secured page. And for the user to log out, we need a logout servlet to invalidate the session. Now, both the logout and the login controller are unsecured resources. Accessing directly a secured resource will always give us forbidden status code 403. To bypass this problem, we need to go to the login page, log in using the appropriate credential, and then you will see the secured resource. To log out, we need to click this logout hyperlink, which will invalidate the session. And to check if we did it correctly, we can just go back again to my content to see a forbidden status 403 code. Now that is authentication. Authorization happens whenever some roles allows us to do some features like downloading this data while other roles cannot. This happened because my content here or my content doc controller here allows only user profiles to download a document containing all those data and not the other user roles.